that's precisely what um, a, uh, a bill is. They've injured you. They have to pay, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, unlike the previous stuff that people have done where they, they are um, creating documents in fraud because they aren't a property owner and they're issuing or creating documents through UCC, the entire system is geared to protect your rights now, Jed. The whole UCC is designed to help you, not hurt you. Re read, read UCC again. This, 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 this is the, the thing in trouble. This is going to make a lot of people laugh. Now, you know, I was negative on UCC for a while, and it was only because at that point I didn't understand, as, as it came to me, the importance of understanding property and where rights of property come from. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Once you are a property owner, there is nothing more powerful on this planet to ensure that you are paid the injury by those that injure you and that your rights are protected than the US courts and the UCC codes. <laughs> I can think of no better enforcement with the power of the marshals and everything. It's all there because you're a property owner. Your problem and my problem and everyone else's problem was we've been trying to do it as slaves without any property rights. And what happens when a rebellious slave with no property rights goes up against a system totally geared for protecting those that hold, hold property? What happens? I'm sorry, repeat that. What happens when a rebellious slave with no property rights goes up against the system totally geared to enforcing and protecting property rights? What happens? He he's 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 kept a slave because he's not he's not a property owner. He gets squashed, right? Yeah. Now so once you prove and you haven't done this yet, Jed and I can't force you to do it, but once you stand and tell the system who you are as a property owner, you have the entire system there in America, perfectly geared, finely tuned to serve you. How can I be a service? The judge will say. How can I be a service? The sheriff will say. How can I be a service? The marshal will say. Because the entire system is geared on protecting property rights, isn't it? Okay, well, uh, and 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 I and I own myself, but the ecclesiastical depot says that uh, we gratefully decline any offer of coercive and punitive benefits from any and all estates which you or your colleagues administer. What does that mean? So, so does that say that I can't go? I can't stand up and say I want what is mine? Uh, no, it's really saying that for owning anything. It's saying that whatever they administered without yeah, you just, having any say in it. But what's coercive mean? What's punitive mean? We decline on the offer of coercive. That means they're pointing a gun at your head yeah. and trying to take something from you. Yeah, good. Yeah. Or, or punitive means um, damaged. Yeah, like going to prison, for example. Uh huh. But it's their punitive benefits, not mine. Is that what that means? Is that I'm misreading right. that? Right. No. What are you What are you What are you saying? You what, just Just read it. I mean, I'm going to rush forward. What? It doesn't say we decline all benefits. It's just saying we define certain types of benefits, doesn't it? It didn't say all benefits. It said decline any offer. Oh. Or mercy or penalty. Right. Benefit. Right, so it's it's declining benefits because you see they call go taking you to jail a benefit. But the offer is a very it's a moving party. That's right. I mean, they arresting you is a benefit. That's right. Evicting okay. you from your and home is a benefit. And I see that it says that the, the estates in which you in which the the in which your colleagues administer. Now, what about benefits that are not coercive and punitive? Think, can you think of one? Would a beneficial entitlement of the estate be one of those? Absolutely. Does that say in that clause that you've declined it? No. No. 
So what are you saying in the deep hole, Jack? In this clause? What is clause? Yeah. Um, you're showing you spoke well, uh, that's rhetorical. Okay. You're showing them you have a knowledge of how they treat the concept of benefit. Yeah? As as Yoda has wisely said to Yoda, you're taking the good, you're declining the bad. That's what you've told them. So you definitely stand on a higher ground. But if if say you had a, a rich aunt, right? Mm-hmm. And she dies. Okay. And she leaves your home. And she also leaves her beloved collection of deadly pythons. Okay. Okay. Do you have a right to accept the home and decline the pythons? Uh, yes. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, that's just my stupidity then, because that's not the way I read that. Jed, don't worry. Hey, um, stupidity is just whether you're two steps ahead or one step behind. Don't worry. <laughs> the um, because this gives me. I'm gonna. Uh, I've been. Been wanting to. to been trying to leave Regan alone because he's been he's been uh, just very very busy and uh, I talked to Susan the other day and she he said he was just just didn't have time for anything other than you know helping people but I, I didn't need to get back with him I hadn't talked to him in a long time so um, you know I feel like I've uh, I'm just sort of out of the loop without talking to him but uh, these calls are great and you you uh, you you've I think I'll start working on this tomorrow. I mean, I've already written the ecclesiastical, already you know edited the ecclesiastical depot. I'm ready to go. Well, with all editing. My cases what do you mean by editing? Just putting in my name. And oh, stuff. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Well, I, I was told you don't you don't change a word in that depot. I'm going to listen to that very closely. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I didn't change, change any words. No. no. So if the judge. What's that, Jed? And all that stuff. If the judge issued the order, whoever issued the order uh, is who I send it back to. Well, yeah, exactly. So, so when they send you, and by the way, there's no limit on uh, giving them um, protest. There's no limit, right? I mean, we're not playing their game here, right? Their their game when they uh, just <clears throat> look. 21 days, 20 days, 5 days, 30 days, 90 days. It's just a dance. It's a dance. It means nothing. Right. Okay. I mean, if they so if they took you home seven years ago and they sent you an order for that, whack with crazy glue a deep pile on it and send it back. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's, it's, it's establishing, and don't just send one, send, send a deep pile for every injury. Until the system cracks and buckles, and and when you do that, then it's their dishonour that is the power, right? Mm-hmm. And isn't that what they have us do? They try to, and they actually do it very well. But their power is, I I, I feel like you know one of those sort of cheap movies, my karate is more powerful than your karate, you know, but it, in the sense it is, our karate is far more powerful than their karate, yeah? Um, the, the, their, their, uh, their tricks of spells and curses where, you know, we do legwork to, to write up our own curses, which is exactly what we do, um, uh, is nothing compared to this. I mean, you've got, you've got the whole of heaven, hell, Angels, demons, saints, everybody. Everyone is behind the ecclesiastical depot. I think there's an old adage that says, it isn't over till you say it's over. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's what we've got to understand. 
that we must persevere in the directions that we're going because if we stop, I have watched cases go on for years. I don't care if the judge issued whatever he issued. The next piece of paper was a new new case. Well, okay. So, so, yep. so are you saying, are you saying, Lee and um, um, Frank, that uh, once we issue these deed, deed polls and you know, and the um, uh, um, born record and everything back into these cases, uh, if they dishonor them and don't um, don't do away with the case or dismiss the case or reverse the case or whatever. <laughs> That we can, that it, it's actually beneficial to go into their courts with our stuff. And well, well, let's let's and walk through that because it's important. Okay. And, and and Jed, the first thing is, if you haven't read the positive law four times, then you haven't read it enough yet. Okay. I haven't. Re- I, I've, I've read it a couple of times, but I haven't read it enough. I'm, I, I no, know that. No, yeah, yeah. And 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 not that I'm, you know, sell, selling the wares, but. It'll get to a point where you've read it enough. You'll know when you've read it enough when you actually get a vibration from it and the words uh-huh. and the sense don't become important. You know it and you feel it. When you know uh-huh. it and feel it, then you've got it. Okay? Okay. And you ha- you're not there yet. All right? Mm-hmm. So you need to be in that state of mind and that state of knowledge and that state of vibration before you unleash hell, so to speak. Right? But... Mm-hmm. Here's a simple here's a simple understanding. The deed poll does not create a trust. It merely gives witness to the fact that a divine trust already has been created by the divine. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. It's a fact of law. And a true trust has been created. That's also a fact of law. But what the deed poll is doing is it's giving them notice, which is a crucial principle of law which needs to take place. Mm -hmm. Now, once you give notice, then you are in fact proving by that that a fraud exists. Why? The instant you give them notice, they have no right to hold the Sestico B Trust in action, in operation, the two of them. The one Mm -hmm. um, formed at birth with the beneficial entitlement and the second one held by the bank. Both are fraud. So the minute you send a deep poll, you, you can prove their fraud from that point on. Until you send it, it's, it's, it's 50-50, right? Once you send it and they don't change, they're in fraud and you can prove it, right? Uh-huh. Okay, now, as a property owner, you, 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 you have to stop immediately thinking in terms of victim. The victim mind has to go. That's part of the problem. We think like slaves. Stop that. We are not slaves, right? Right. Don't think like slave owners. Don't think like slaves. Think like honourable men, yeah, and women. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you know, one of the problems is people go from being a slave to slave owner. No one should shift from being a slave to a slave owner. We're not here to become the next batch of slave owners, right? That's not what we're going to do. Okay. But uh-huh. stop thinking like a slave. Now, what I'm, why do I say that? As a property owner, and you issue an ecclesiastical deed poll, and they don't act, or they injure you from that point on, then what can you do, Jed? What can you do as a property owner? What does the system allow? What does the UCC, the courts, the sheriff, the, the marshals, allow you to do as a bona fide property owner, if you give them proper notice? like go to the extent of making sure the bank account is set up, right? Which is all proof. Remember, this is all proof of their fraud. The bank account gets set up, the ecclesiastical deed poll. What are you proving, Jed? What's the system going to do? It's got to uh, look after my uh, interests. Which it's not going to do. If it doesn't, then what are they saying about their most fundamental laws being trust law and property law? What are they saying? That they're all a farce. Right. And if they're all a farce, then how many weeks before the entire system collapses? No, not many. Not many. Correct. Frank, are you calling? 
What's that? Are you